when someone says a big tech company these come to mind apple microsoft google and amazon but these are not even close from the thumbnail you probably know the answer nvidia has a market cap of 4.26 trillion dollars second is microsoft with a 3.81 trillion dollars most people think that this company just makes graphic cards for gamers but nvidia is worth more than tesla and google combined nvidia is also the first company ever to hit 4 trillion dollars market cap and they did this by building invisible infrastructure that powers every ai tool you use from chat gpt to your mobile phone camera ai to self driving cars so how did a company which started in a small restaurant and almost went bankrupt after their first product failed turn around and become the king of ai revolutions what did nvidia do differently that intel amd and every other tech giant missed back in 1993 ensen huang Chris Malkowski and Curtis Prem started Nvidia in a small restaurant named Denny's. Before starting Nvidia, Ensen worked in both AMD and LSI Logic. Jensen primarily worked on the design of microprocessors and small electronic devices. Later, he worked in marketing and management positions, which helped him make a lot of connections in the tech industry. Nvidia was started when this trio had a simple insight. A CPU which is like a brain of the computer was designed to do one thing at a time. This is known as serial processing. But when it came to doing the heavy work like animations or games, especially the 3D graphics, CPU had to do a lot of heavy and repetitive math. That really slowed things down. The founders of Nvidia thought if there was a separate chip that could do parallel processing, a chip that would divide complex tasks into smaller ones and carry them out at the same time. This approach can be far more efficient than what was currently being used in the market. But thinking about something and launching a startup are two different things. and nvidia's founders learned this the hard way the first failure after receiving the funding from sequoia capital nvidia launched their first product the nv1 graphic card during the development of the nv1 chip nvidia secured a deal with sega to manufacture nv1 chips for their gaming consoles nv1 chips were also available for computers so that means you could play sega games on your pc as well this might look like a small thing now but this was a huge breakthrough at that time you see at that time computers were mostly used to do basic things like searching something on the browser rendering file or folder or writing pieces of text and if you wanted to play games you had to get a gaming console there was no separate hardware processor that could bring graphics to the personal computer but there was a huge problem huang loved video games so he wanted to make chips that can display sharper and better graphics to do this nvidia followed a unique approach and a quadrangle based image rendering architecture for their nv1 chips the quadrilateral shapes could render better rounded objects and also increase the speed by reducing cpu workload whereas the whole industry was using triangle based texture mapping this wasn't like a small technical detail you can think of it like a supercar which was not built for the roads the car can go up to 500 km per hour but the indian roads are not built for it Game developers were building their engines around triangles. Hardware standards were set around the triangles, and Nvidia bet everything on a completely different approach. When Nvidia launched their chip, Microsoft announced that the software used to process graphics in a PC would only support triangles. Despite all the innovation, the project was a failure. It was designed to be a 3D graphics, 2D acceleration, audio processing, and even game controller input and a host of other functions into a single chip. but it was way ahead of its time jensen huang learned a lesson that technical innovation means nothing without market adoption by 1996 nvidia had spent a lot of money and was forced to lay off half of their employees but jensen huang didn't give up he understood customer needs and market trends people needed something simple and fast in 1997 nvidia launched the riva 128 The first successful graphic card. Nvidia sold a million units of this in just four months. This saved the company from going out of business. The GPU and CUDA revolution. In the early 2000s, the PC gaming scene was growing. Games like Quake, Half-Life, and later Crisis pushed the boundaries of what graphic cards could do. Nvidia was perfectly positioned for this. In 1999, Nvidia launched the GeForce 256. which they marketed as the world's first GPU. This wasn't just a new marketing term. It was the first programmable graphic card. It allowed both regular gamers and developers to explore new things with shading, lighting effects and increasing the gaming experience. The company went public in the same year. 
By 2000, Nvidia had secured a major deal to develop graphics hardware for Microsoft's Xbox gaming console. This deal gave Nvidia $200 million in advance. In 2001, Xbox launched with the custom chip called NV2A, built by Nvidia. Nvidia also played a key role in building Sony PlayStation's 3 processor. Big brands in the computer industry like Apple, Dell and HP started using Nvidia's GPUs and the company continued to grow. But the major revolution was yet to come. Jensen Huang realized that the parallel processing power of GPUs could be useful for much more than just rendering graphics. Scientific computing, financial modeling, and machine learning could also benefit from this architecture. In 2006, NVIDIA released CUDA, Compute Unified Device Architecture, a platform that let programmers use GPUs for general computing, not just graphics. This platform was the stepping stone which would eventually make them kings of AI. But making GPUs programmable for general computing wasn't just a software challenge. It required fundamental changes to the hardware architecture. Nvidia had to design chips that could switch between graphics and computing tasks efficiently. With the CUDA platform, it became much easier to write programs that could run on GPUs using standard languages like C, C++ and Java. This opened up possibilities for all sectors that dealt with huge amounts of data. CUDA powered systems began revolutionizing medical imaging, drug discovery, and genomic research. Research that took months could be completed in days or hours. Wall Street discovered that CUDA could accelerate complex financial model and risk analysis. High frequency trading firms became Nvidia's major customers. Nvidia was already working with automotive companies on advanced driver assistance systems. They saw the potential for AI in cars long before self driving became a thing. By 2010, CUDA had become the standard for GPU computing. Part 3 The AI Explosion and Future In 2012, something happened that changed everything. Alex Kiesky, a PhD student of the University of Toronto, used the power of GPUs to enhance computing efficiency of his deep learning neural network AlexNet. Deep learning is a process where computers can learn by themselves without the help of programmers. By connecting Nvidia's two GeForce GTX 580 gaming cards to his computer, he was able to process AlexNet's neural network with 1.2 million images. The result was remarkable. At that time, the image recognition accuracy showed 15% error rate which was around 25% in the previous year. While competitors were struggling to enter the AI chip market, NVIDIA already had CUDA, mature development tools, and a community of developers who knew how to use their hardware. The data center AI chip market expanded in 2023, with NVIDIA tripling its revenue and reaching a $2 trillion valuation. Every major tech company, from Google, Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook to OpenAI, needed NVIDIA's chips to build their AI systems. NVIDIA wasn't just selling hardware, they're selling the infrastructure to the AI revolution. While Intel and AMD focused on making individual processors cores faster, Nvidia bet on making thousands of smaller cores work together. This approach proved perfect for AI workloads that can be parallelized. As of July 2025, Nvidia has a market of $4.26 trillion, making it world's most valuable company. Nvidia also reported a revenue of $44.1 billion in the recent quarter, with most of this growth driven by AI chip demand. And demand for Nvidia's next generation AI GPU called Blackwell is insane. Nvidia will make billions of dollars from the new production in their fourth quarter. Nvidia is also positioning themselves for the next computing revolution by investing in quantum computing simulation and hybrid quantum classical systems. What do you think? Can anyone catch up to Nvidia in the AI race? Let us know in the comments below. If you found the story interesting, like the video and please subscribe to the channel for more such content. See you in the next one. Bye bye.